Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. If you're still losing the mad, we are now going to actually make our way into the bunker because we dealt with the majority of issues with Sloan, I think. So here we are in the hidden valley. I don't remember if there were mines. There may have been mines. I hope there are no mines. But I'm not convinced. And then trespassers will simply be shot. And uh, that's okay then. That sounds safe enough. Wait. Who? Where? Oh, scorpions, of course. They were, in fact, the primary uh, issue in this area. If I remember correctly, but they're not really issue, you know. They still managed to be the primary issue. Oh, well, we can't really do anything this way. Hi there. My name is April Mortimer. I monitored a communication earlier between you and someone with the Brotherhood of Steel. I'm with the followers of the Apocalypse. We're much more liberal about the sharing of technology than those Brotherhood people. Bring your robot to us. We'll see that whatever information it may have on it is used for the greater good. Um. Well, put the Brotherhood there. We're more friends with uh, Veronica than we are with uh, whoever is the followers companion. I haven't even met the followers companion, I don't know what his name is. Yeah. This looks like there's someone in here. Like someone in habits area. Eden Valley Bunker, okay. Be careful. This might not be the one we're seeking, but it's certainly a bunker. But seriously? Do they all look the same then? Hello? Alright, well. Yeah, okay, that explains that. Would make for a good disguise for your own world to have stuff like that there. Oh, the Brotherhood armor on the it looks extremely silly. You know, it protects her well, I guess. At least I would assume so. Ah, do I shoot bugs? It's probably safer to shoot the bugs. Are you angry at my hat now? Don't be angry at my hat. Okay, eight. We're gonna drink some sunset sarsaparillas, hoping for star caps. I don't think we got any star caps, but you know. The hope was real. Alright. I think we can safely maneuver over to this rock. I just want that hammer. That's a silly looking hammer. Wait. Is this the right bunker? Huh. Okay. I don't know issue with that. Now this certainly looks in the I'd like a large atomic shake and a double Brahmin burger. And easy on the agave sauce this time. We gave you a password, Veronica. It's for your safety. I know where you live, Ramos. Open up. <sighs> for Pete's sake. Opening up. Welcome back, Veronica. <laughs> and this is why she is good to have around, I guess. That and, you know, her ability to kill things. Listen up. I'm in charge of security around here, and I can't say I'm too happy about having an outsider waltzing around. But since you came in with Veronica, 
I'm inclined to cut you a little slack. Just behave yourself, and we won't have any problems, okay? Oh, and the Elder's going to want to talk to you. He's on the second level. Just take a right once you get down there. My office is right here in case you need anything. Just ask for Ramos. Actually, we could talk right now. Oh, hey there. Something I can help you with? So you're on head of security? That's right. Nothing gets in or out of here without me knowing it. What exactly are the rules regarding entering and leaving? Under the lockdown, only essential personnel are permitted to enter or leave. That includes supply runners and high security patrols. All other personnel are forbidden to leave, and any personnel that were out there when the lockdown was enacted are forbidden from returning. Okay. Fine by me. Later. Alright. So this is your room, right? Well, nothing I can do here that won't uh, actually get me in trouble, so... Yeah. We're going this way. There's probably a lot of people who we'd want to see and meet and... It's all really, really very exciting. I guess we should really go and talk to the people who actually wanted us to come here first. You are not one of those people. Hello. You're a doctor, right? Hello, you must be the outsider everyone's talking about. I'm Linda Schuller. If you ever need medical attention, this is the place to come. Alright, uh, so you're a doctor? Yes, I handle all medical needs in the bunker. If you're ever wounded, I can treat you. For a fee. Normally, I'd just be the base's medical officer, but my other duties say otherwise. Alright, uh, let's talk. You mentioned other duties you had? I'm this bunker's head scribe in everything but name. I supervise the research teams. I collate the reports. I attend the meetings. But for reasons beyond me, that buffoon Taggart still gets the title. And don't get me started on that little pet of his. Everyone around here knows what's going on there but her. Why not on him? Oh, I tried. The Elder listened patiently to my carefully constructed argument regarding why the buffoon should lose his position. Then he just as patiently explained to me that Taggart's work was vital to our cause, and that he wasn't to be trifled with lesser matters. But vital to our cause? Hardly. Alright, I'll see you. Bye. Taggart doesn't sound very nice to me. Hello. Lots of knights around. Evening. Is that that's recon armor, right? By the name. It's a really large place. I should probably actually pick a direction and go that way. Hmm. These are turrets. That's not the essential information unless you intend to fight the Brotherhood of Steel. Which you don't. Hello. I intend to see if to make to the making of a truce. For I know that I don't want to fight the Brotherhood of Steel, for they are nifty. I believe that is the actual term nifty. Don't work too hard there, Ibsen. You're the one with that robot. I was hoping you'd bring him my way. Pretty impressive piece of hardware. I can't say that I've seen anything quite like him before. Huh. I've heard some information from his log. Sounds like it is carrying some enclave data. Enclave. Really? What kind of logs? What kind of data does he have on it? The log spoke, spoke about enclave terraform research and Poseidon energy research. Did, did you say... Poseidon energy? I've been researching some Poseidon projects here. Do you think you could leave your robot with me for a few days? I have some materials that I can use to upgrade his armor while he's here. Sure. Okay. Um... How did you get the audio from that? Scribe, scribe, scribe. 
Ooh, that'll do. How many 300, 3,000 dates can we make? Six. Did we get like a box or something there? No, don't break them down. I'm really low on that stuff as it is. Primer and large rifle. I thought I bought those. Hmm. Um, hmm. I can't really get large rifle primers from anywhere, so. Oop. Seems the NCR is making friends. We've had reports of them making overtures to some gang in Freeside. Yeah, I have that. I hope to make help have them make some more friends as well because I want the Brotherhood to be our ally against the Legion. Yeah? That's really yellow hair. Must be for the computers. It's our virtual reality training hall. We don't really go out all that often anymore, so this is how we stay sharp. Uh, did you used to go out more then? Yeah, a lot more. Back when we were at the Helio station. Oh, crap. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to talk about that, especially with outsiders. So forget you just heard that, okay? Nope. Shouldn't you be in school or something? Head scribe Taggart quickly realized my extraordinary talent when I took the mandatory VR combat testing. Soon after that, he requested that I get transferred to VR specialist training, serving as his assistant. I miss hanging out with the other students all the time, but at least I get to skip all those boring lectures. Uh, then you yourself? Well, like just about everyone else here, I grew up in the Brotherhood. My father was a scribe and my mother a paladin. Are they still here? They both died at Helios 1. The others were always like a family to me before that, but afterward they became my family in truth. Right. Bye. How, how good you mean? The bunker takes a little getting used to, doesn't it? I can hardly notice that lazy eye anymore, Watkins. I'm surprised you're not wearing that hood to hide your hair like you usually do, Veronica. She used to. Yes, what is it? Who are you? And you are? Ah, the outsider. I suppose it's too much to ask that jarhead Ramos to keep outsiders away from my research. I am head scribe Taggart, and I am much too busy to deal with the likes of you right now. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy that one. And I'm just gonna assume you're an ass. Not gonna self destruct the base. Don't self destruct the base. That's a Terrible idea. That's not how you make friends. Alright, to the right then. Um, how's my quest doing right now? Should be ready in a few days, okay. Scribe Taggart, it's your favorite student. Uh, Scribe Taggart is not here. When Paladin Ramos informed me that Veronica was approaching with an outsider in tow, at first I didn't know what to think. After giving the matter some thought, however, I've decided that an outsider could be of use to me right now. However, I will not force you to help us. Should you refuse, you will be allowed to leave here, though you'd remain Veronica's responsibility. What do you say, outsider? Are you willing to help us? Of course. Then allow me to explain our situation. This bunker is currently locked down, allowing no entry or exit, with you being one of the few exceptions. In exceptional cases, teams are sent out to investigate sites or retrieve materials deemed too important to ignore. Three such teams have gone missing recently, and the news of their disappearance has not yet been widely spread to avoid undue concern. In order to maintain the peace and adhere to the strictures of the lockdown, I need to send someone else to discover what happened to them. Yeah, I already found a couple of your patrols. The Brandons were all dead. That is unfortunate. As long as there is a chance to find the remaining patrol, however, I must still ask you to try. Of course. I'm glad I can count on you. Oh, and one other thing. 
The patrols each had a holotape detailing their missions that you can use to track them. The shielding of the bunker prevents us from actively tracking them, but their positions should show up on your map once you get to the surface. Should our worst fears become realized, please bring back all three of the holotapes from the patrols. Otherwise, bring our brothers home. I've given the order that you be given access to some of the equipment our scouts and patrols have scavenged over the years. You won't be allowed to purchase any prohibited equipment, but hopefully some of what's available will prove useful to you. Thank you. Uh, with whom am I supposed to talk about that? Then? Ooh. I like that. Is that that? Okay, that's... That's it, that's it. Oh, right, I see. Okay, that's... Uh, wait. I mean, that's this... That station, that's the thingy. Where we haven't been yet. That's the Hoover Dam, that's McNamara, that's the Strip, and that's the Boomer place, Nellis. What is that called? And that's that's the Repcon Test Site, right? Nice, I at least know what some of it is called. We saw the large satellite, so we know what it is, we just, you know, haven't really been to it. Ooh. If I... They won't be a big fan of that, probably. Veronica. I'm gonna slowly walk to you. And we're gonna... Open your inventory. Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? Oh, I don't have a dress for you yet. No, sorry. Um... Was it Brotherhood something? Or is it just, uh... Like power arm or something thing? Yeah, it's... Looking cool. Yeah. I'm carrying too many items. We can probably pass something. What? Not armor. That much is for certain. Yeah, that will keep me moving. It's nice to have a companion who actually has training to use uh, Brotherhood Armor. Now we could only also get her a nice little Gatling laser. Mmm. But she's about melee. So, you're the outsider that's been given leave to wander around freely. Desperate times call for desperate measures, I guess. Name's Harden. I'm the head paladin of this chapter, and I think we might be able to help each other out. I don't know what the Elder talked to you about, but I can tell you this chapter is in trouble, and he's at the center of it. Are you willing to listen to what I have to say? Why should I trust you? Why should you trust the Elder? I'd recommend listening to both of us and choosing whom to trust for yourself. So are you willing to listen? Okay, I listen. As you may have already heard, this entire base is under a state of lockdown. No one goes out except small patrols at night. Most of the chapter has been sealed in here for years. And those few who are outside when the lockdown was initiated are forbidden from returning. Morale has plummeted as time has gone by. And many of our current paladins haven't seen combat outside of training simulations. And all because of the Elder's explicit order that no one be allowed in or out. The only way things will change is if a new elder is installed. What about Veronica? She seems to come and go as she pleases. Veronica's a special case. She handles the procurement of supplies. If we didn't let her and those like her back in, we'd all starve. If the elder could manage it, he'd shut them out as well. And all in the name of security. Which is why we need to replace him. And I suppose you'd dominate yourself? I would. I'm the senior most paladin in the chapter, and have more combat experience than any two others here put together. I'd gladly support another candidate, but no one has the courage to step forward and make the attempt, so it falls to me. I would put this chapter back on the right path, if I could just assume leadership. I want no part of this. I half expected you to say that. In which case, 
I'll continue to pursue the matter on my own. Should you continue dealing with the Elder and find yourself beginning to see my point of view, I'll be around. Wait, with whom am I supposed to talk about the supplies thing? I was promised access to supplies. Hmm. The supplies are not in there. Hello. Welcome to the range. Feel free to use any open lane. I'm allowed to use the range? Sure. The Elder's already given the okay. Unfortunately, you'll have to use your own weapons and ammo. Okay. Later. Fine. That's strange. Hello? The word came down from the Elder that I'm to offer you some of our lesser wares. As if I didn't have other matters on my mind. Anything I can help you with? If you must know, my inventory check this week shows that our weapon count is one short. Somehow we're missing a laser pistol. Harden will have my head if I don't find that weapon soon. I can't delay my report to him any longer. I could look around for the pistol. If you happen to find it, bring it here right away. I might be able to throw a few supplies your way if you do. Have you found it? Then I haven't I found it yet. Then we have something to talk about. Our patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Take a look. Six bullets. Oh yeah. This is a joke, right? Grenade machine gun? I might actually have to resort to buying that, but uh, nah. Thanks. Thanks. See ya. Later. I'm not sure what you're going to do with all the gaps, but you know, you're welcome. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. This is fucking Mondos on my radiation levels. Uh, there's one over there. This is really bad. This is really bad. This is really bad. Mo, mo, mo. You're, you don't even have anything. Oh. 